I like the big plays. I'll tell you what, really impressed with our defense, uh, how they stepped up. You talk about the saying, bend but don't break. I think that was the epitome of bend but don't break tonight because uh, they did nickel and dime us and, and, and throw outs and quick passes here and there and, and, and drove down. But once they hit inside our five yard line, we uh, just built a wall. But our defense did an outstanding job standing up. And that just says a lot. I think it's a lot of, about uh, a Spartan spirit and about a, a fighting spirit. Never quit, never give up. And, and that's what I want to have as a trademark, a characteristic of our program. We're always competing. As long as you're doing those things, you're in every game. Yes? Because Andrew Larson came back from what was some people may have thought was mm -hmm. he would never have been able to do. In your opinion, how was it to have him back, and what does it kind of mean maybe to the Spartan team to have him back on the field? Well, oh, I, I tell you, that is just a great, uh, inspiring story. Anthony Larcival. Uh, a guy who six months ago, eight months ago, we didn't know if he'd ever play football, if he'd even be able to return to school, and very concerned about his long-term health. It is an inspiring story, a young man who, who just wouldn't give up on his comeback, and he is inspirational to this football team. For our young guys to see that, I think that sends a good message to the young guys. Never, never take anything for granted and, and always have an attitude of gratitude. Imagine someone told you you could not do the one thing you love the most. Not because you didn't want to, but because your health would not allow you to. Would you shut down, or would you keep pushing against all odds? The San Jose State Spartans made a name for themselves in the 2012 football season, receiving national recognition for the first time in program history. The only way to cap off this 10-2 season would be to shut down Bowling Green and the Military Bowl in our nation's capital. As the rest of the Spartans prepared for battle, Anthony Larsoul had a battle he had to face on his own. It was December 14th and two in the morning I had woken up and I had vomit and diarrhea and, and I, I thought, you know, I just maybe had a simple flu and I was sick so I, I shot our trainer a message, a text message and I told him, hey, there's no way I'm gonna be able to practice today. I had, last thing I remember, laying in bed, shooting him a text message again saying, should I go to Kaiser or should I go to the Student Health Center? And then I guess I'd fallen asleep. That's all, that's the last thing I had remembered. What Anthony thought would have been a nap turned into two weeks of his life he would never remember. I don't know anything was going on since laying in bed, but I was told I was rushed to the ER and then from there to the ICU, and and I was told I was in critical condition, and then I was sedated. I was heavily sedated, and and I was sedated for a few days, I believe. Anthony was diagnosed with viral meningoencephalitis, an illness that infects and causes swelling in the brain. Despite missing the opportunity to go to battle with his teammates, Anthony had a lot more on his mind. Now that I'm starting to understand I'm in the hospital, I ask my doctors, what's wrong with me? When can I play football again? Well, right now, we want to keep you out of school and we want to keep you out of football for quite a while. But certainly, we want to keep you out of contact sports for 12 months. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I might never ever play again. I'm a senior, we got a new coach. He might just want to get rid of me. <laughs> Coach Carragher gave Anthony the words of encouragement he needed. He told me three key things that I remembered, and it was first, get healthy. Then we'll talk school, and then we'll talk football. Basic skills such as walking, talking, and even brushing his teeth started coming back. But playing football was on another playing field. Couldn't understand why my body couldn't move like it used to. I couldn't understand why film is so difficult to watch. Why, what, you know, why do I have to relearn a whole new defense? But I was, I was, I was depressed.
it took for Neil Perry, who is our graduate assistant coach, who has come <laughs> through some adverse situations. It, told, it took for him to tell me, NGU, never give up. And that sunk in because when he had told me that, it, it meant the world to me because, you know, I was in a tough situation as well. And that's all I kept in the back of my mind was never give up. So anybody that is dealing with something that's troubling, you know, just I would want to tell them to never give up. We had an emotional talk yesterday, and I already told all y'all, but I'm just proud of you. Shout, shout out to Anthony Larchboy. We wish, we wish you could be here right now, but you know, we got this one for Anthony and seniors. And oh, it's for Larchboy, Anthony Larchboy. He couldn't make it today. He's in the hospital right now. We're playing for him as a D-line. Through social media, I was able to see all my Spartan family that cared for me. I was able to see my teammates that cared for me, pictures and 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 distant family that I hadn't seen in some time and it it was encouraging because that's what got me through the depression because knowing and seeing how many people cared for me meant the world to me. Anthony Larsable steps onto the field in 2013 as a senior with the Spartans. I tell you what, every uh, outstanding season I believe there's stories. There's, there's, there's strong stories, outstanding stories of of people overcoming things and, and things that happen. And, and yes, that could be a, a, a key story about the success of this program. Moments of adversity will always strike in an athlete's life. But with the potential of never returning to play football again, Anthony shined through in moments of doubt. He went against all odds, displayed courage, strength, and when adversity struck, he never gave up. Personally, I'm looking forward to just being able to say I can play again. I'm just excited to see our success together.